What is up everybody? So as you can see, uh, it is pouring down rain and I am stuck at work today. So no fishing for me at the moment. Um, but by request, you guys have asked to see what it takes to actually cure eggs and tie your own egg sacks. Uh, so today we're gonna show you that. So before we can get into tying eggs, we gotta go catch a fish. So let's go ahead and head to the river. All right, everybody. So we're doing a little voiceover action today. Uh, here we see Carrie putting on a clinic as usual, catching us a nice big female steelhead. So uh, this is the hen we are going to harvest to get our eggs. See here, she's nice and fat. And then um, next thing we gotta do, uh, after dispatching the hen, with a little bit of pressure, you're able to actually get the eggs to squeeze right out into this bag. So you see here, just holding her and um, sliding her hand down her belly. The eggs are flowing pretty freely here, and that's one of the great parts about getting late season hens, and uh, she was put in the smoker. So next thing you need to do is you need to add river water to your eggs. Now this helps harden them and create a uh, bouncy film on the outside of them, just as if they were laid naturally. Now that we've got them home here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and dry them out. So put them on the pan here, we're gonna kind of move them around on this paper towel. And uh, after they sit there for a minute, we're gonna go ahead and switch it out with a uh, fresh paper towel. And you'll see here how much moisture actually comes off these eggs. Now you can see here that the uh, um, cure of choice here is the Pazuki Boraxophile. Now you can use anything you want, but this is tried and true for me. It works all the time. And as you see here, it is just a light sprinkling. We do a light sprinkling on the eggs, and then we will um, kind of shift them around on the pan, and we'll give them another light sprinkling. That's really all there is to actually putting the cure on the eggs. All right, and then you can see here another light sprinkling. Uh, this just makes sure we get anything that we missed the first time. And then into the plastic bag they go. Now the important thing when you put these eggs into the bag, um, you wanna add a little bit of air to it to make sure that there's some room for the eggs to move around. We are actually gonna let this go ahead and sit out on the counter for three to four hours. And that allows the eggs to sweat before we uh, go ahead and throw them in the fridge. One eternity later. All right, so here we are pulling them out of the fridge. This is the next day. And these eggs are fully cured and ready to roll and get to tie in. So we'll throw these on the table and uh, get out the materials that we need to tie. So first things you're gonna need here is some actual egg mesh netting. Um, the two main colors I use are white and pink. There's tons of them on the market. A uh, good pair of scissors goes a long way. And also here, this is uh, the magic thread. This is extremely important. You have to make sure you get some brand of um, what we coined magic thread, and you'll see here why in just a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and put some eggs on our plate here as I make a mess and spill them everywhere. You can see how nice and bouncy they are that they've been cured now. Um, very sturdy, these will freeze very well and last forever. So go ahead and put some eggs on the mesh netting here. Now you're gonna wanna fold the corners in and give it a couple twists. And you'll see here, um, you know, four or five twists is usually more than enough. Then you're gonna take the magic thread, you're gonna wrap it around it in loose wraps and every three to four cinch it tight. This creates that uh, barrier to help it uh, stay together. Then you just snap it off. Uh, no need to cut it. Now you'll cut the excess off and there you go. A fully tied egg sack. I'll do it again here for you in the white uh, meshing just so you can see it again. Alright, so here's the white mesh. Put some eggs on there. Give it a couple twists. Use the magic thread. Go around it a couple times loosely, then cinch it tight. I do this two or three times, and then just pull it till it snaps. Trim the excess off, and you're good to go. Now once you've done this a couple times, it's pretty simple, you'll get good at it. Uh, it's pretty easy to just go ahead, sit down, uh, get yourself a nice cold beverage, and crank a bunch out. Generally speaking, personally, um, I go through maybe 15 to 20 egg sacks on a day on the river if it's a good day, um, sometimes even less than that. So, you know, just a small amount of eggs actually goes a long way. 
and these will freeze extremely well. I do like to tie my eggs and then freeze them just so uh, when things start again on the next uh, in the spring or the fall of the next year, I don't have to worry about tying a whole bunch. And there you have it, a bunch of completed eggs. All right, so there it is, folks. That is everything you need to know about curing and tying your own eggs. So uh, I want to just want to just thank you again so much for tuning in here. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. We got a lot of awesome content coming out here. And uh, if you're interested, uh, I did film a video. I'm going to link it down below of everything it takes to actually catch steelhead on the river. There's some really awesome tips and tricks in there. So make sure you take a look at that. And uh, like I said, thank you so much for uh, stopping and watching this video. Subscribe. And as always, fish on.